Hi, let's see how we can use an SQL query to explore E-Class in the SDSS Sky Server. Starting from the um, SDSS E-Class Spectral Examples page, you can see that we have a query already set up. You also need to have the Image List tool open. There's a link provided for you, and I already have that set in a tab over here. The Image List tool requires that the query be sent to image list in a particular form with the, only the name, the RA, and the deck for each object that you want to retrieve at present. If we want to get out specific image classes, we have to fill this form from the query. So we're going to click on that and a new window opens. If we take the query that's provided and copy that, we can paste that directly into the window in the image list tool. We submit that to the query and a list that is acceptable to image list is returned. We send this to the list and the top 100 are returned to us. Now on this page we have asked that only the top 100 be returned just simply for um, convenience sake but you can request any number and the pages are listed up here and you can click around to those. Each image list um, item you can click on the thumbnail and that will take you to the SDSS Sky Server Navigate tool or since we want to look at the spectra the header information will take us over to the explore page for that object. So click on that and you will open up a brand new window in explore for that object. You'll see a thumbnail for that object and you can also scroll down to the spectral information. Now I'll need to make this just a little smaller so that I can see this. So we're going to scroll down. I take a look at the spectral information and I see that there's no flags or warnings if something had failed on the spectral information. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to click on that and I can see a larger uh, version of the spectrum. If I right click, I can also get a uh, print a copy of that picture and that will allow me to choose several of the spectra from that particular E-class range and then um, have those printed and image those. So that will be all that we need to take a look at from there. So for each one of these you could take, um, you can modify this query and change a different E-class range from the between and this one's but 0.1 and 0.2. You can choose different E-class ranges and repeat this several times to explore what E-class actually tells us. And you can take a look over in the original page that we had and you can choose the E-classes that we brought up on that page or you can make up any of your own.